Good morning. Today this workshop has called me because there is a lamp on the instruments cluster in this beautiful Volvo F806. We don't know yet the reason of the problem. We only know that it has to do with the trailer. And to discover a little bit more and to solve the problem, we are going to use the test. Follow me. After connecting our hardware to the trailer, the next step will be the ignition. We need to turn on the ignition on the track, and after that, we can proceed to connect with Yaltes to the trailer and discover which is the real problem. Selecting trailer, and then in this huge list of trailer systems, we need to figure out which is our system in this vehicle. In this case, we recommend go under the trailer and see which one is our system. Then, just looking to the pictures, it's possible to discover if it's Wapco, if it's Gnor Brems, or if it's Haldex. After going under the chassis, we have discovered that we have a beautiful Wapco EBS-E modulator. It seems pretty much like this one. We have different ones. I mean, it looks the same, but then we have uh, some ones which are premium version, some of the ones which are standard, and depending on that, we have different characteristics. Anyway, the first step after realizing that we have a Wapco EBSD modulator will be to connect in the system. Remember, at the very beginning, we only discovered we had a problem just looking at the dashboard. On the dashboard, there was an ABS lamp advising uh, alarm with an alarm to the, for the driver, uh, just saying, please stop and check the driver. With Yaldes, after connecting our hardware, we're going to discover which is the exact problem. It's very nice also to see that we can connect using Bluetooth. For this type of connections, the Bluetooth way instead of USB is much more comfortable, actually. It will take a couple of seconds. There you go. By clicking Diagnosis, we are going to discover a couple of present errors. Unfortunately, even if I click several times on delayed errors, they wouldn't delay because they are internal errors. And such errors can only be uh, resolved, can only be um, uh, delayed after replacing the modulator. So to do the replacement correctly, after doing diagnosis, my suggestion will be to copy the parameters. Copy to Yaltes. Yaltes allows the user to copy the parameter file included in this type of modulators to the computer. And after that, we can replace for a new one and paste this parameter file in the modulator. 
Let's go for it. Copy to gel test. Now I am saving this parameter file. Also, it will be very interesting to create your own folder in your desktop. Therefore, you can uh, organize every single parameter file from your trailers. In future problems like this, you just need to go to this folder, take out this parameter file and paste with YAL test in the new modulator. Now I need to save my file and I'm going to do it in my folder. Step by step, actually I'm creating a small library. There we are. After that, I also like to go to go for a datasheet printing. Every chassis has a plate, and in this plate appears the type of module, which is the brand, which is the serial number, and also the parameters. If we keep also the PDF, we can see in, in a very easy and intuitive way what contains the parameter file. Now it's printing and I'm going to discover which are the parameters in my trailer with a PDF. In my desktop, now I have this PDF and I'm going to compare with the plate on the chassis. Yeah, it's correct. My plate in my parameters files is exactly the same as the one in the chassis. It means that now I have all the information of my modulator in this trailer and the next step will be to replace the module. Remember, those internal errors are not possible to solve them. Usually, the modulator is somewhere here, under the chassis, just in the middle, attached to one beam. Here we are. We've got two new modulators and the older one has been already disassembled from the chassis. The thing now is to know which one will be correct for this type of chassis and for this type of configuration. We always recommend from Yaltes to take into account the reference number of the valve and also the, if it's a premium or a standard version. We always suggest to put the same type of version as the previous one. Therefore, the compatibility of the parameter file, the one that we need to paste after the replacement, will be for sure the good one. Our module has been correctly replaced. With Yaltes, the last step will be to paste again the parameter file from the older modulator. It's very easy. Just by clicking in Copy to ECU, and selecting the file from my folder. Type in the expert mode. Will be done in just a few seconds. There is a tricky point. If the modulator uh, has been replaced with a new one, a brand new one. Also, after pasting the parameters in the new modulator, in some cases, a present error can appear in diagnosis. Talking about the end-of-line test. It's just uh, because after pasting the parameter file, the modulator needs to know if everything is correct. So we need to test the speed sensors, we need to test the control pressors, and we need to test uh, some other things. No problem. With YAL test and system checks, 
it's possible to perform also the end-of-line test. This present error will turn into not present and then will be possible to be deleted. And after doing this process, everything will be solved. So the dashboard will have a lamp regarding with the ABS of the trailer. As you can see, with Yalt test, only one tool can be done all this process. To sum up, what we did today is a replacement of a modulator with an internal failure, an internal error code. It was not possible to solve it, so the only way was replacing the modulator. Fortunately, uh, we only need Joltest. We avoid to call someone else to replace the module, to copy the parameters and modify it. It was not needed. So it was very nice chance to have Joltest with us. Everything was perfect. Uh, the connection, uh, parameters modification, copy and paste. We did our library for trailers. And I think to call somebody else is a thing of the past.